Hello friends and welcome to the Chippewa River District Library's virtual story time. Will you join me in singing the hello right. song? Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. In today's story time, we're going to be talking all about movement. We're gonna dance, we're gonna jump, and we're gonna move around. So get ready to move with us. I've got a great movement book over here to show you. This is Wiggle by Doreen Cronin, and it's one of my favorite books. It has all kinds of movement that we can do as we read together. Here's our title page. We've got the author, Doreen Cronin, and it says the art was done by Scott Menchin. And we've got our title, Wiggle. And then it looks like this little friend is gonna wiggle along with us. Do you wake up with a wiggle? Do you wiggle out of bed? If you wiggle with your breakfast, it might wind up on your head. Oh my goodness, have you ever danced with your breakfast and had a pancake land on your head? Goodness, that's a very wiggly thing to do. First, wiggle where your tail would be. Can we wiggle our tails? Ready, wiggle your tail. <laughs> then wiggle all your hair. Can you wiggle your hair? Let's wiggle our heads. Whew, that wiggled my glasses right off. Can you wiggle with your shadow? Look on the ground, do you see a shadow from where the light hits you? Let's wiggle with our shadows. Can you wiggle with your toys? Go find one of your favorite toys. See if you can wiggle with one of your favorite toys. I'm gonna wiggle with my rhythm six. That's my favorite toy. When you wiggle with gorillas, do they make a wiggle noise? Hmm. What does a gorilla wiggle noise sound like? Hmm, can you make your best gorilla wiggle? I think it might go something like this. <laughs> Can you wiggle in the water? Wiggle one fin on each side. Wiggle one fin. Wiggle the other fin. Or wiggle like a crocodile. Open big and wide. Yikes, can we wiggle like crocodiles? Ready, get out your crocodile mouth. So that is just a sample of some of the wiggling you can get up to when you check out the book Wiggle from the library. You can check out this book and lots of other books about movement. I will put links in the description below so you can find out how to do that. It's time for a magnet board story. This magnet board story is called 10 Tiny Bunnies. And these 10 tiny bunnies like to move a lot. So get up, let's get ready to move with our bunnies. All right, it's a nice sunny day and our bunnies are starting to come out. Let's count them while we hop. One little, two little, three little bunnies, four little, five little, six little bunnies. Are you hopping with me? Seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies, 10 little bunnies hopping up and down. Bunnies like to hop, but they also like to twirl. Can you count the 10 little bunnies with me while we twirl? One little, two little, three little bunnies, four little, five little, six little bunnies, seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies, 10 little bunnies twirling around. Woo, that one made me dizzy. Right, for this last one, we're gonna try to stand on one foot. And here we go. One little, two little, three little bunnies, four little, five little, six little bunnies. Woo, don't lose your balance. Seven little, eight little, nine little bunnies, 10 little bunnies balancing on one foot. Good job, friends. Thanks for counting the bunnies with me. For our next section, we're gonna be writing. So you can grab a pen and piece of paper or you can trace in the air with us. Here we go. Since we're talking about movement today, I thought it was only appropriate that we write the word 
move. And as always, any attempt at writing is a good attempt. You don't have to be perfect to be practicing your pre-writing skills. And in fact, I'm writing at a bit of a weird angle, so my writing is not that great either. We're all practicing together. All right, we've got a capital M. There's our capital M. A lowercase O is just a circle. A V. And what's this last letter? E. M O V E. Move. Move. Friends, what color is my scarf here? Hmm. It's yellow, isn't it? Can you look around your house and find something yellow? Look, see something over there? Maybe over that way? Hmm, do you see anything yellow? If you see something yellow, I want you to wiggle jiggle just like jello. Can you wiggle jiggle just like jello? There you go. Let's sing a song about seeing something yellow and see if you can spot that yellow thing again, ready? If you see something yellow, wiggle jiggle. If you see something yellow, wiggle jiggle. If you see something yellow, wiggle jiggle just like jello. If you see something yellow, wiggle jiggle. What about this color? This is blue, right? Do you see any blue items in your house? Look around. Hmm. Okay, spot that blue thing and let's sing. Ready? If you see something blue, bend down low. If you see something blue, bend down low. If you see something blue, bend down low and touch your shoe. That was really far down. If you see something blue, bend down low. What color is this, friends? It's red. Do you see anything red in your house? Look around. Do you see it? All right, you tell me what red thing is in your house. You can tell me in the comments below or you can shout it out. I see my red scarf. If you see something red, reach up high. If you see something red, reach up high. If you see something red, reach up high and touch your head. If you see something red, reach up high. Wow, that was a fun song. We learned some colors and we got to do some movement. Cool. Friends, it's time for some trivia. For today's trivia, I'm gonna show you a picture of an animal and I want you to shout out and tell me what motion does that animal do? Do they fly? Do they swim? Do they run? You show me, okay? Our first animal. What does this animal move like? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this animal looks like they might live in the water. Can you show me how a water animal would move? The answer is that was a turtle and turtles swim. Can you show me how you would swim? You might swim like this. You might swim like this. Those are some pretty good swimming movements. Okay, next animal. How does this animal move? Hmm, this is an interesting animal. Looks like he lives on the ground. Hmm, what do you think, how does this animal move? The answer is that this is a cheetah and cheetahs love to run. Can you show me how to run like a cheetah? Let's run, hurry, hurry. Good job. What about this animal? How does this animal move? Hmm. Oh, I've seen this one before. It's a land animal, so it doesn't swim. What about those big feet? Do those big feet look like they'd be good for running? Hmm. I don't know. How does this animal move? The answer is that this kangaroo jumps. Let's jump, jump, jump like a kangaroo. Good job, friends. How does this animal move? Oh, this is just a little insect, isn't it? Hmm, how do you
do you think this animal moves? The answer is that this butterfly flies. Can you flap your wings and fly like a butterfly? Oh, you guys are such graceful butterflies. Good job. What does this animal move like? Oh. Hmm. hmm. What does this animal do? He looks a bit silly to me. Hmm. This is a sloth and sloths climb trees. So you could say that this animal climbs, but they're also very slow. So let's see if we can climb our tree very slowly with our sloth hands. Last animal. What does this animal move like? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, these are a very misunderstood animal. Hmm, I think lots of people are afraid of them, but I think they're pretty cool. What do you think? How does this animal get around? The answer is that this snake slithers. Can you show me how you would slither around? Wow, that was fun. How many answers did you guys get correct? Well, friends, our time here at the library has come to a close for the week. Will you sing the goodbye song with me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye.